Coldplay won a Grammy with their first album, Parachutes. I would say Yellow was the biggest song off of that. This one. Beautiful, beautiful song. But uh, Chris frustrates me. I'm glad the whole band is here. I've asked him what the song is about. And he goes, I have no fucking idea what that song is about. And I'm, I don't think I said that, it as aggressively as that. <laughs> you kind of did. Yeah. You were like, you go? I'm, <laughs> well, I'm adding a few words. I mean, <laughs> seriously, you have no idea what that song is about? No. <laughs> really? It's a gorgeous song. It is. It's, it's a wonderful song. Um, well, that's what, uh, if I may remind you, that when that song arrived, yeah. you and Johnny were playing FIFA or whatever that football game was. <laughs> okay. In the lounge yeah. of the studio. And I came through and I said, hey, listen to this. And this is what you guys did. That's good, yeah. <laughs> and then I remember, then I went to the bathroom and the chorus came through. And I was playing the chorus in the bathroom. And I came back and I said, hey, listen to this. And these two were like, yeah, that's good, yeah. <laughs> They had no ability to recognize that you had just written a hit song. Is that correct, Chris? Not at all. Well, we didn't know what none a hit song was, but none at all. No, they were just interested in it. But also, to be fair, it was quite different to how it ended up. Oh, to be I fair, believe yeah, it was, it was a, like to a be fair, heavy metal. It was, metal. <laughs> it was a serenade. <laughs> it was like a, it was a sort of vaguely Neil Youngish, uh, <laughs> slightly less. Uh, well, it's a bit. It's, it had a different, slower tempo, and yeah. it was no. It, did, it wasn't mm, the smash that no, that it came to be. <laughs> <laughs> Will, are you too hard on Chris when he writes a new song? I, I do genuinely feel terrible a lot of the time about um, <laughs> about having to say my voice my opinion on things, and it's difficult. And and I also have to have learned to to just keep quiet a lot of the time because as I know that I've been I've made some terrible mistakes in the past <laughs> in terms Have of you... judging a song too too early. I said that song clocks. That's rubbish. That's not even a song. I think is what I said. <laughs> um, you said that was another one. <laughs> Wait a second. So you, yeah, Chris a... brought you the song clocks. He brought it to the mm. band, and Will, you go. That's really bad. I, well, and by I just the way, felt like it, yeah, it didn't have a chorus. It still doesn't really. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I'm working on it. Let's be clear. This is the song we're talking about. <laughs> the, well, I love it, but that's the thing, and, and that's the, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a wonderful piece of music, and I think that I was stuck in a kind of um, mold of thinking that everything needed to have a, uh, I was very narrow-minded, I would say, in terms of what a chorus or what a song could be, and uh, I fully, I, I ate my hat on that one many years ago, but I'll, if, <laughs> if it still needs eating, I'll keep, I'll keep munching <laughs> but, away. But how, um, but with being, Howard, the truth is that, um, is it in Lord of the Rings where there's Saruman and then there's Sauron, who's the really bad guy? Right. So, is that Sar me? No. So you're that's like well. the you're like the wizard that's pretty bad. Okay. But Guy is like the wizard you don't want to fuck with at all. <laughs> oh really? Because if Guy says he doesn't like a song, there's no point ever playing it again. <laughs> guy, did you hate that song when Chris no. brought you Clocks? You liked it. Uh, yeah, I got it immediately. <laughs> right. So <laughs> clever. <laughs> But if, Johnny, if, what about if, you? Well, what was your I reaction? It, honestly, I think everything's going to be brilliant. I'm annoyingly positive about <laughs> about everything. I have no filter whatsoever. So <laughs> I just get I just get excited when there's new music and uh, and want to play on it. Let's say you write a song, and Will says to you because he's so evil, he goes, "This is a horrible <laughs> song." Um, Chris, do you then lay awake and I say, "Why did I listen to Will? Maybe that is a hit song." I mean, no, you got to be careful, right? The truth is he's never guided us wrong. No, That's right. That, the balance of the four of us and Phil, our fifth, and, and whoever we're working with, it's like I trust that um, shape of things. And uh, I know that if, if I really believe in something, I just got to keep keep chiseling away. And then at some point, if it's really good, Will will say, okay, that's that's good. No, so, I so love that. For whatever reason, every, it just works the way it works. It does. It's difficult sometimes, but I'm, I wouldn't have it any other way.